How to get a sick note. A sick note, sometimes called a doctor's note or a medical certificate, is a recommendation from your doctor about your medical condition and how it affects your ability to attend school or work. Sick notes can be for short illnesses, minor surgeries, or chronic conditions and explain why and how long you'll be absent. Whether for missed classes, leave at work, or for travel and support animals, sick notes will ensure you get the accommodation you need. Part 1 Getting a Sick Note for School or College 1. Ask your parents to write a note. Many schools don't require a doctor's note for sickness, and many doctors will not write formal notes for school absences. Your parent or guardian can write a sick note for your teacher after you recover or drop it off personally. Be sure that the note written by your parent or guardian has the date of your illness. It should also address the teacher and have a brief explanation of why you are absent. For example, Dear Mr. Smith, Please excuse Martha Cohen's absence from school for the past three days. My daughter had strep throat and needed to rest at home. Thank you. Mr. Nathan Cohen. Your parent or guardian should then sign the letter and seal it in an envelope addressed to the teacher. Your parent may also be able to call the school's office or attendance hotline. Some schools give a window of several days to do so. Be aware that certain places do not accept parents' notes for sick days. Be sure that your school district recognizes them. Two, Get a letter from your doctor, alternately. In some school districts, or for extended absences, you will need to get more formal proof of your illness or medical treatment. Ask a doctor or other medical professional for a certified letter to present to the school. The letter should detail your illness and the duration of time you'll be absent while you recover. Your doctor can also provide you with records of your surgery or any medications you took for the illness. These documents are then stamped with an official seal at the doctor's office and given to you. Don't expect to get the medical certificate for free. U.S. doctors are starting to bill for them and a range of other, formerly free services. 3. Include contact information. Your school might want to follow up with your parents or doctor to verify your absence. This just means that they wish to check that your absence is legitimate. Ensure that your parents include leave a telephone number in the letter or with the attendance office, so that the school can call for verification. If you use a note, your guardians may have to give the doctor written permission to verify your condition. In the U.S., HIPAA laws prohibit doctors from sharing most medical info, even with schools. 4. Talk to your professor. If you're in college, getting a sick note is a bit different. You're probably a legal adult by now and don't need a guardian's permission to be absent from class. Professors and universities also have different policies on how to excuse absences. Start with your professors. Many professors do not mind one or two missed classes and will want to accommodate you if possible. They will also let you know how you can make up missed assignments or if they will excuse you with proper documentation. Professors do not have to excuse absences, even if you have medical documentation and work through the college dean or registrar's office. Make sure you know what each professor's policies are. 5. Go to the college registrar. You'll next want to talk to the college administration. At some schools you'll need to go to the registrar, at others the dean of students. Follow the instructions that the registrar gives you about how to get a sick note for your absences. Be prepared to go to the on-campus university health center for an assessment. Some schools only accept medical notes from university doctors. 6. Enroll with your college's disability services. Although your professor does not have to honor a sick note, she does have to give reasonable accommodation to students with disabilities and chronic issues. You may be able to register with your college's disability office to help you cope with a serious medical condition. Disability services will work with you to make it easier for you to perform in courses. This might include later deadlines, more time for tests, or peer note takers. You'll need to talk to a medical professional and get supporting documentation. Your note does not necessarily have to state a diagnosis. In many places, the school will only ask for verification and what your needs are. Once you are enrolled, you'll be able to work with an advisor to determine a plan of action. Some centers provide on-site testing for learning disabilities, as well. 
Part 2 Excusing Absences from Work 1. Figure out the rules. How to get excused for sick days depends on where you work and live. In the UK, for example, employers can't ask for proof of illness unless you've missed a week or more of work. In the US, things are more complicated. US companies can ask for justification before giving you sick leave. Your boss is legally allowed to ask questions about your condition or to demand a doctor's note, even if the illness is minor. However, companies can demand to know your diagnosis or other private medical information. The Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA, prohibits employers from obtaining medical info that is not strictly job-related. A doctor only needs to write that you were examined and need time off. Ask around to see what your workplace requires. Companies may ask for proof in case of suspicious absences, like missing too many Mondays or Fridays, or they may simply have a blanket policy. Two. Schedule a doctor's appointment. Your sick note will have to be signed or stamped by a doctor or medical professional. Most likely, you'll have to schedule an appointment so that she can assess your condition and then certify your absence. Certain employers might ask for a doctor's note for minor illnesses like the flu, food poisoning, or even the common cold. This is legal in some places. For longer absences, the doctor may have to attest that you are not fit to work and specify when or how you can return to work. Some practices offer telephone consultations. If your doctor is booked up or you have a fairly minor illness, see whether she is willing to assess you over the phone. 3. Get a sick note directly, if you are under medical care. If you are already being treated at a hospital or another medical institution, a doctor there can issue a sick note or a certificate confirming that you are a patient. Submit this to your workplace as proof. You may be treated by a professional who is not a medical doctor but a nurse, physiotherapist, or a mental health therapist. You might be able to ask them for a letter or copy of your hospital discharge summary as proof. Keep in mind that documents like discharge summaries contain private, confidential data. You do not have to give this sort of detail to your employer. 4. Follow any other workplace policies. You might have to give documentation or comply with additional policies, especially if your absence is long. Make sure that you do so. Fill out a self-certification form, if needed. In the UK, your employer can ask you to fill one out for their records if you have missed less than a week of work. In Canada, your employer can request a formal medical certificate for extended sick leave within 15 days of your return to work. Have a doctor fill out a reasonable accommodation form if you need special consideration after sick leave, when returning to work. This will inform your employer of your condition, any limits it places on you, and how you can perform your duties. Part 3 Getting Notes for Travel and Animals 1. Talk to your doctor before cancelling a flight. Get in touch with a doctor as soon as you realize you are too sick to fly. With a note and proper documents, you may be able to get partial or full reimbursement for a missed trip. Even if you have travel insurance, you can be denied repayment if you don't see a doctor before canceling. See your doctor, then cancel. The doctor's note should briefly explain your condition and state that you are not healthy enough to fly in a certain time period. The note should be on the doctor's official letterhead and signed. 2. Reach out to the airline. If you end up with the flu or a life-threatening condition and cannot make a scheduled flight, reach out to the airline. Ask them about their policy regarding sickness. Some airlines will require you to cancel 24 hours in advance of your flight and to send them the signed doctor's note or a copy. Some airlines have set cancellation fees. You may be charged this fee when you cancel your flight and then refund it once you provide a doctor's note. Be ready to file a travel insurance claim. Travel insurance often covers cancellation because of illness. If you have a plan, submit the doctor's note as well as your unused tickets, receipts, and other proofs of payment. 3. Seek a doctor's note for support animals. Some people rely on animals like dogs for daily help, to navigate or for other physical and emotional needs. If you use a support animal, you can qualify for special accommodations by getting a doctor's note. Landlords and airlines have to accommodate people with disabilities, for instance. 
By having a demonstrated need, you can bring your support animal with you on flights or into a normally pet-free building. The law interprets disabilities widely. Chronic depression or pain, AIDS, autism, cancer, or heart disease can all qualify as disabilities. Some people keep support dogs for serious depression, for instance. Talk to your doctor about a note. It needs to be on letterhead and signed, and she must verify that you have a medical disability and need a support animal. Whether you reveal your diagnosis is your choice. Again, this is confidential information.